Hey everyone, here I am doing exercise 10.1, 16th question and chapter is mensuration of classics. The question is, what is the perimeter of each of the following figure and what do you infer from the answer? First we have to find out the perimeter of each figure given and then later we have to conclude by observing it. Now let us find out the perimeter. So the first one is in a shape of square and we know that perimeter of square is 4 into side. So for the first one, I am just directly writing perimeter here. So perimeter is equal to, since it is a shape of square, it is 4 into side. So this is equal to 4 into side given is 25. So 4 into 25 is 100. So we got 100 centimeter. Now the second question. Second one is a rectangle, so perimeter will become, so perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus B, which is equal to length is 30 centimeter and breadth is 20 centimeter. So 2 into 30 plus 20, so 30 plus 20 is 50, this will be equal to 2 into 50, which is equal to 100 centimeter. Next third one. Third one is also a shape of rectangle. So perimeter will become, so perimeter is equal to, the formula we know it is 2 into L plus B. So 2 into length here given is 40. So 2 into 40 and breadth given here is 10. So 40 plus 10. So this is equal to 2 into 50 which is equal to again 100 centimeter. Now the next one we have here is triangle. Now in the triangle we know that perimeter is nothing but sum of all the sides. So perimeter is equal to, we have to add all the sides of triangle. So this is 30 plus 30 plus 40. So 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 40 is 100. So this is equal to 100 centimeter. Now we have found the perimeter of all the given figure. Now we have to understand, we have to observe what is given, what is what we got here. Now you can see here that we got the perimeter of each and every figure has 100 cm. For the first one, second one, third and fourth, the perimeter is 100 cm. So that will be the conclusion here. All figures have a same perimeter. That will be our conclusion from here. Therefore, all figures have same perimeter. This will be the conclusion. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any further question or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.